Chapter 1. Godliness Whoever is able to wake up early lives the beauty of the morning air and is filled with motivation. Always focus on Allah so that you may always live in adherence to His will for the aim and hope of the believer is to proceed with the guidance of Allah, the Most High. This is what my father, may Allah rest his soul, advised me. I learned to enjoy the quietude of early Fajr time. The first of the five daily prayers, despite the difficulty of waking up so early, whoever is able to wake up lives the beauty of the morning air and is filled with motivation and thus overflows with the power of giving, which is one of the aspects of the importance of Fajr prayer. I do not know God consciousness theoretically, and nor do I know any Islamic value divorced from the essence of the human soul. Through the passage of human life, I learned Islamic values and only then was it possible for me to understand the importance of the value of faith and its effect on human life. Believers must be exemplars who satisfy their Creator and be an example to others in terms of how to connect to modern world with all its challenges and conditions. In this way, the believer manifests both the pursuit of God's acceptance of him, as well as being God's vicegerent on earth. Even if one of us spent half a century studying the Quran theoretically, the result of such a study would be of hardly any benefit if the study were divorced from actual human emotions and the exigencies of life and removed from the reality of submission and true humility before God. The true value of the Quran is in its ability to change people's lives. Believers are self-policing regarding everything that they as individuals do and engage in before people, especially those they respect and must not engage in bad behavior, both when they are alone and when they are under the watchful gaze of others. It is essential that believers avoid all that is bad and reject bad behavior, even if it is hidden and behind closed doors, for Allah always sees us and watches over us. Hurry to do good deeds as much as you can. Engage in volunteer work as much as possible and try to be at the forefront of those seeking their Creator. Do not be lazy or make excuses. Rather, go forth towards goodness on the wings of God consciousness and with strong faith in God's plan. Pay attention to your faith with your eyes wide open and with full consciousness. Look for faith in all aspects of your life and continuously evaluate the level of your faith and its vagaries of increase and decrease. In this way, your faith will grow rather than diminish, and faith will increase in your heart so that it will lead to good deeds. Hold yourself accountable for every lapse in faith and try your best to preserve your honor and your high level of character. Continue to be a true believer in all aspects of your life and rely on truth and patience according to the teachings of Islam. Teach yourself to hold fast through all difficulties and catastrophes. Face all tests and setbacks with faith and hope and put all your reliance on Allah every second of your life. Know as a fact that achieving your goals is dependent on patience and perseverance. A person who works according to the guidance of Islam and within the horizons of the Islamic faith will achieve internal happiness and serenity of the soul. And this is due to the sweetness of faith and the benefit of working for the sake of Allah. 
Volunteer work has its own rewards akin to professional success and rivals any occupation in reward and satisfaction. One of the most basic aspects of a believer is that he presents his society with a valuable example and a model to be followed. He puts his fate in the hands of Allah, does not become materialistic, and serves and helps others without making them feel hurt or obligated. Theoretical knowledge that stays inside your head has no value unless it is used for good deeds on this earth, helps you to gain success and fulfills the needs for life. We must bring intellectual knowledge together with good actions that bring realistic benefits to people. Make your intentions fully for the sake of Allah. Give all that you can and be in a state of acceptance of all God's gifts. Share God's gifts with all those in need and you will find bounties, success and safety. God will provide you with those who will assist and support you and remove all obstacles from your path. These are the results of fidelity and working without faltering. Every believer possesses in his soul a jewel that is embodied in his belief in God's unity and his strong relationship with this great religion. The dangers of transgression, desires, and giving up are issues that all humanity faces. These ills cover the jewel in each soul under a mountain of sin and deface it with evil. However, this is not the end of the journey. Faith, repentance, God consciousness, and continuous searching enable the believer to cleanse his inner jewel of all sin and return it to purity and freedom from evil. Belief in Allah, along with true commitment and submission, is our goal and aspiration. It is the way to achieve guidance, tranquility, and calmness. The secret of commitment lies in connecting it to the love of Allah, for through it we achieve success and tranquility of the soul. What is done for the sake of Allah possesses continuity and benefit, and what is done for other reasons is limited and will eventually end. One of the greatest things in life is when all our time on this earth is filled with the worship of Allah and good deeds, and when throughout our lives and whenever we do good, we thank Allah the Most High for the bounties that He bestows upon us.